I often feel while traveling by air that the experience is somewhat forbidden or unnatural. We should not be this high in the sky. This beautiful perspective of the clouds was never meant for human eyes. But then again, how else would we ever be able to experience or enjoy the rest of the world? All I know is this, as much as I dislike airports, the love of being in the sky for the short time it allows me to marvel at God's best in-flight entertainment. And the only thing keeping my eyes from gazing out the window was the sight of this cute little passenger sitting next to me. Hey everybody, how are you doing? I missed you guys. After a short hiatus, I am back, at least for one or two videos. But I tell you, after my farewell video, um, it was tough. It was time for me to have a YouTube decompression, I guess. I didn't even watch any videos. But um, yeah, you know, I, I reflect back on the difficulties YouTubing is. But let me tell you, you all have your favorite YouTube YouTubers out there. You need to drop them a line and tell them how much you appreciate the work because it is a lot of hard work. But um, you know what? I miss it. Um, I, I can't continue like I used to because of you know financial reasons. But yeah, I miss it. I miss the the two three day edits. Yeah, I I miss all the feedback from you all, the encouragement. You guys were always encouraging me to um, to keep it up. What I find interesting is I kind of imagine that my subscribers uh, count would take a, a nosedive, and it's just it's been just the opposite. Uh, I have gained probably yeah. For my small channel, maybe 200 subscribers since since my farewell uh, video. So, yeah, bully on you, YouTube. <laughs> I've been going to Acapulco uh, a couple times since my fare farewell video, and if you watch my my videos, you know that my one of my godchildren in Acapulco was due to have her quinceanera, her 15-year quinceanera. And because of the pandemic, it got postponed three times. So the date was finally set, and that was going to be last week. I was in my car, headed to the airport, and then I got the news. 7.0 earthquake in Acapulco. Can you believe it? So I kept driving. I was trying to contact people. I was trying to contact the airport. Um, I was on hold for probably an hour and 15 minutes to Delta. I was due to board a plane within two hours. Um, they were able to allow me to reschedule because uh, the damage in, in Acapulco was too much. Thank God that uh, my family, my godchildren were okay, even though there was some damage to their house. But the venue, the, uh, the place that the quinceanera was be, to be held at, was in bad shape. All the windows were blown out. All of the the chandelier was crashed. Had crashed down. Um, all the the china that they serve their guests with uh, smashed. So that's going to be my next trip. Um, I think it's going to be well in a week and a half. I'm going. I, I'm already booked a hotel and a flight. Although I've changed my hotel site, I'm no longer going to a 20-story hotel. I'm going to a single level. So. Uh, I'm from California. I should be used to this stuff, right? So we'll see. You know, poor thing. La mama and my godchild. I feel so bad for them because they've gone through so much with all these postponements. Uh, I know how much hard work it is. And, you know, my godchild is coming on 17 years old now. So it's been tough. This young lady right here. I'm here for her quinceanera, but it continues to get postponed. Okay. Ahora, ella tiene 
Vete un año. <risa> no, dile, ¿cuántos años vas a cumplir? Pato. 17. 17. Lleva dos años ya casi sin poderse hacer sus 15 años. So, por la pandemia. ¿Y qué piensas de, de la situación? ¿Cómo se dice? ¿Situación? 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 Que siento coraje porque la gente no, no entiende. No se sé, sigue protegiendo. Y hay algunos lugares que sí los dejan este, tener servicio y es encerrado y en, el, y en los salones privados no los dejan. Siendo que se, se, se tienen más gente que un salón. Eso lo es mi coraje. Ah, es difícil para ella, pero para ti es más difícil. Sí. O sea, se tiene que hacer, se tiene que hacer. Muchas gracias. Mira. Pollo. ¿Qué estás haciendo? Tu codo, dile. Dile, está aguadito como el de mi tío Javi. I'm actually creating a video about uh, quinceañeras. It's going to be, uh, I don't know, it might be a two-part video because I, I'm including a lot of information about what a quinceañera is. Uh, there is a, a, a customary format that people follow, and I'm going to show you what this grand event is all about. I, mean, I say grand because these people put in a life savings into the production of these uh, quinceañeras so stay tuned for that that's gonna happen probably next month who knows who knows what the way things are going these days as i said i've been to mexico city i went to a major league baseball game which was in my bucket list and i don't regret doing that i also visited the Virgen de Guadalupe at the Basilica with an old friend, Margaret, who I've known for many, many years. The last time that I visited the Basilica was more than 20 years ago, and it seems that now there are more walkways and water features and landscaping. The area is now more tourist friendly. Or maybe I just missed it all the last time I was here. I do remember the churches being authentic, being old and historic. And I do remember this one old church in particular that is sinking on one side. And I do remember the year 1531, the year the first church was built in this area by the Spaniards. Okay, so this is a part of Mexico City I've never been, I've always wanted to come, and somebody's running from the camera. But look at this place. This is where all the money is in Mexico City. And it's beautiful. Would you agree? La Colonia Santa Fe, which is the new business section. By car from El Centro, it should take about 35 minutes to get to Santa Fe, or 45 minutes if there's traffic, which there is always traffic. I have been to Mexico City numerous times, but never to the Colonia Santa Fe. And then there's a good old El Centro, El Centro Histórico, Mexico City. In Mexico, September is the Independence Month, so the Zocalo is all decked out to represent the holiday. We also visited Colonia Condesa, if you are a dog lover, you've got to come visit the parks in Colonia Condesa. Among other places where I have posted photos of Margaret and I on Instagram. Check it out. But our ultimate destination was Acapulco. We 
went to several places that we have always been fond of throughout the years, like uh, the Socalo, the Condesa Beach, which the waves at this time of year can be pretty treacherous. But we stayed at the Hotel Hudson, which is a nice enough hotel. It's on the beach, it's located on the Golden Zone, it's got a nice enough pool area. But every day, Margaret and I went over to the pool of the Hotel Fiesta Americana, which every year is our go-to home away from home hotel, where every February we reconvene to enjoy the splendors of Acapulco, no matter the weather. It's coming! Currently at the pool at the Fiesta Americana and uh, I think we're gonna get rained on. But I don't care! Many of the staff members at the Fiesta Americana have become friends of mine over the years, including my favorite waitress, Angie. El <laughs> total? Ay, Dios mío, es muy barato. We also revisited one of our favorite stomping grounds, the Hotel Los Flamingos, which is a place that was once owned by John Wayne himself. Is John Wayne here today? Mm-hmm. No. Today is uh, off to John Wayne. <laughs> it's day off. See, <laughs> it's <is> off. <laughs> That's enough of my random nonsense. Please stay safe, be well, and make sure to always travel timeless.